Well, Friday update number 16. Look who we've got here at uh, New Jersey. Press day here at uh, MetLife Stadium in uh, East Rutherford. Cole Thompson, uh, man, how are you doing and how you feeling heading into this one? And what do you think seeing the track? Yeah, I feel uh, feel good coming in. Obviously, uh, back on the East Coast, I uh, look forward to being here. It's the first time here. I was supposed to race in 2014 years ago and uh, ended up getting hurt. So cool to be here in New York. Obviously, track symbolizes uh, East Coast type track, ruts, tight. Uh, should be good, should be good. Uh, obviously, East-West showdown is going to be tough, but uh, we'll do the best we can, try to collect some points and um, maybe put some points between some guys. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. I mean, it is East-West. Obviously, we got the top uh, from both sides going to be tight uh, going into this one you still need points so what do you think I mean uh, you're doubling your chances I'd say it's just tougher what do you what do you think of that yeah it's extremely tough uh, when you split the coast it kind of gives you a fair chance and then when you put them all together it's 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 a lot uh, nice not having it as a, a triple crown event the three moto formats uh, done with for the year so just a straight heat race and main event hopefully uh, get a good gate pick for the heat race and then a uh, good start in heat race good finish and then uh, obviously a good start in the main event is going to be crucial with how many good guys there is in the class so that's all we're trying to focus on is better our starts this year has been a struggle for me getting off the gate and obviously it's uh, shown a little bit in my results I've been kind of just on the bubble of top 10 or just inside top 10 but haven't really been able to even see the pace of the front guys I'm usually you know starting out like around 13th or 12th is like a good start for me all right now um outdoor there's no roof on this place is there talk of mud is there talk of rain what's going on here what do you look i haven't looked i have not looked at the weather uh, i've tried to not look at the weather at too many of these because uh unfortunately that is um one of the down i guess the downsides of having an outside stadium is the the rain can play a factor is what it is. Luckily this year I'm not doing it on my own. It's not my uh, equipment. I guess that's the, the beauty of being supported by uh, Team Solitaire Hot Sauce and uh, having them take care of me. So if it is muddy, I feel bad that it's uh, going to do some damage to the bike and tear some stuff up. But obviously we prepare for all uh, conditions. All right, now we've got, uh, it is uh, week 16 for the Friday update, brought to you by Race Tech Suspension this week. But uh, I asked you, one question was uh, who you thought was going to win this East-West shootout, and you you didn't really specify. You said the Lawrence brothers were looking tough to beat, yeah. but you didn't say. So we got to put you on the spot here. Who's going to win it? I, I want to say Jet because he's on my coast, obviously. <laughs> you always want the West Coast, the coast you're racing, to be uh, the top. But, I mean, either, either one of those guys. I raced Hunter last year, and uh, he was able to win it, I think, at Atlanta there. So... To me, the uh, the Lawrence brothers look pretty dominant. I think it's hard to uh, go against their stats and statistics. Um, I think it'll be a cool race for the fans. Uh, hopefully, for me, it's uh, a good good uh, good race in general. Get through it and uh, try to get some points. Like I say, if I can get some points between me and some of the guys that are kind of right behind me, it'd be nice. And come out of here with a good finish for the team and for myself would be really awesome. All right. Now, last thing uh, we again, another question we asked in the update uh, question uh, interview was uh, uh, World Supercross, and you kind of alluded that you're interested, but uh, does that mean something is in the works, or can you say anything about that? Yeah, no, I, I, I don't know how much I can say, but I'll, I'll be doing the World Supercross. Um, I just uh, kind of out of respect for the team and stuff. I don't want to announce it obviously and take attention from all the support that. Uh, the sponsors give the team that I'm riding for right now, but obviously when uh, when the time comes, I'll be announcing that. So uh, I will be racing World Supercross this summer. Um, I kind of was looking somewhat right after last year when they ran it, and then sort of just came up last minute, and then everything kind of fell into place perfectly for me and, and, and the team I'm going to be racing with. And I'm excited. I mean, uh, Supercross obviously is kind of the only thing I'm racing this year, and being off all summer it takes a toll on you kind of mentally just taking that much time off from racing and then obviously trying to reset and get back focused for the following year so it allows me to kind of extend what I'm doing already and gives me an opportunity to kind of showcase my my skills in uh other places I guess well awesome well that's a uh, perfect time because like you said out of respect for your team but uh, that's awesome to hear that you're going to be racing uh, world supercross but let's let you go we're about to start here who do you want to thank let's thank your actual team that's going right now yeah just everyone uh yeah obviously uh team solitaire uh heartbeat hot sauce uh the whole liat gang for uh kidding us every weekend you see the custom kits you see the bikes custom uh obviously the mechanics joe and eric they put in a lot of work um ryan and chris behind the scenes doing it uh to allow people like me to have another opportunity to come here and race obviously it's uh, not easy to be in this sport so for those guys to get us here get us on track and then obviously all the stuff behind the scenes which is uh, lining up everything to go race is huge
All right, Cole, thanks for your time. We're about to fire it up here, and uh, good luck this weekend. Thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. Thanks, Billy.